Hi guys! Welcome back to Engineered's YouTube channel. My name is Patricia Bermudez and I will be your host for today's video. So for today's video, we will be discussing a problem that appeared at this year's Chemical Engineering Quiz Bowl that was held last September at SMX. So it is under the category thermodynamics and the problem states that 2 mole of air is initially at 4 bar and 20 degrees Celsius. This air undergoes two reversible changes first at constant pressure, and then at constant volume. The final condition of the air is at 6 bar and 100 degrees Celsius. Calculate Q, which is the heat, in joules for the entire process. So we know that it is a two-step process, diba? Right? So yung P1 natin is 4 bar, and ang T1 natin is at 20 degrees Celsius. And then... It undergoes a constant pressure process, which is isobaric. So, um, P2 natin is the same. Constant siya, ba? So, it remains at 4 bar. And yung T2, hindi natin alam. And then after that, it undergoes a constant volume process. So, yung volume natin is constant. K is for constant. So, yung P3 natin, as stated here in the problem, is 6 bar. And yung final temperature overall is at 100 degrees Celsius. So, ano ba ang Q natin for isobaric? We know that delta H is equals to the change in internal energy plus the change in pressure and volume. Likewise, we know that delta U is equals to Q plus work. And we know that work is negative PdV, right? So, it's Q minus PdV. So, if you're going to equate this, you substitute this here, like sub 1 into 2. We have delta H. Ito yung Q, delta U natin. Ito yung papalit natin sa delta U, which is Q minus P dV. And dahil constant pressure yung process na to here, we're finding Q1 first. Okay? So, yung Q1. Yung at, um, pressure natin is constant. Therefore, there is no change in pressure. So, it'll just become plus P, dahil there's no change. And then, dV, change in V. So, yun lang naman yung change here. So, we can see that we can cancel negative P dV and plus P dV. Therefore, yung Q natin for Q1 is equal to delta H. And how do we calculate that? It's N C V uh C P, sorry. It's heat capacity measured at constant pressure. Okay? So C P delta T. So yan yung Q1 natin. And before we can use um C P, we also have to assume that air is ideal. Okay? So, ayan. But, meron tayong um, unknown here, which is T2. And we have to find that first. So, ang gagawin natin is to use the step here. We know that in PVNRT, this is the ideal gas law, if the volume is constant, the only thing that change is pressure and temperature kasi yung number of moles mo and number uh, and your your universal gas constant is a constant so ito lang yung dalawang nagbabago yung p and t and we know that p is directly proportional to t so the change in pressure is directly proportional to the change in temperature therefore p3 p3 which is this one is equal to P2, T2, okay? And ang unknown natin here is T2, so we have to make that the subject of the equation. So, ang gagawin ko here is take the reciprocal of both. So, pagbabalik na rin natin parehas yan. So, yung T3 over P3 is equal to T2 over P2. And dahil gusto mong i-isolate yung T2 sa isang side, i-transpose natin yung P2 here. So, magiging T3 times P2 divided by P3. So, yung T2 natin is equal to T3 times P2 over P3. So, 
um, ang theta natin would become yung T3, which is 100 degrees Celsius here. We have to first convert this into Kelvin kasi we cannot take ratios of temperatures that are not absolute. We can only take ratios of temperature, temperatures um, like Rankine and Kelvin. So we have to convert Celsius first. We have to convert Celsius into Kelvin first. Okay? So yung temperature natin is 100 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. Then this is in Kelvin. Tapos yung P2 natin is 4 bar. Kasi constant siya. Over yung P3 natin which is 6. Dapat ang matirang unit here is the unit of the temperature. So yung 4 bar makakancel, matitira yung Kelvin. So yung T2 mo is also in Kelvin. Okay? So let's calculate. 100 plus 273.15 times 4 divided by 6 is 248.7667 Kelvin. But since everything here, the temperature, is in degrees Celsius, we have to convert this back para maging consistent yung units natin. So yung 248 you did you deduct 273.15 again. So yung temperature natin is negative 24.3833 degrees Celsius. So ayan, we have found an unknown. So this one is 24.3833 degrees Celsius. Ayan, meron na tayo ng lahat ng values. So, ang next step na hahanapin natin is yung Q2. And we know that in an isochoric system, kasi constant volume siya, we know that Q plus work is equals to the change in internal energy. But since it, V is um, K and the change in volume is zero, therefore, the work is zero. So, you can cancel it, this off. So, yung Q2 natin is equals to um, delta U, which is N C V delta T. And we know that, let's assume that air is diatomic. So yung C V natin for um, diatomic is 5 over 2 R. And then yung C P natin is um, 7 over 2 R. Okay? So, let's find the total heat right now. Okay? So, yung Q total natin is equals to Q1 plus Q2. And we know that this one is equals to NCP delta T plus NCV delta T and this one, we know that this is delta H. And this one, we know, is um, delta U. Like, if you go back here, Q2 is equals to delta U. And Q1 is equals to delta H. Ngayon, i-account ang natin yung specific change in temperatures. So, yung, we can factor N out. So, N is 2 mole. Right? Yung CP ng um, air na diatomic is 7 over 2 R. And the R that we're going to use is 8.314 joules para naka-joules na siya. And that is the unit that is being asked for in the problem. So 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And we know that delta H is um, associated with the first process here. And we know that the change in temperature is T2 minus T1. So ang change natin is negative 24.314. 3833 3, 3, 3. minus 20 kasi yung initial temperature natin it's in kelvin plus na factor na yung n mo so yung cv na lang which is 5 over 2 times 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin, tas tuloy ko dito, times yung delta T natin, which is 
minus minus 24, then it becomes plus 24.3833 Kelvin. Okay? So, we're gonna do some unit cancel cancellations here. So, yung mole, maka-cancel parehas. Yung Kelvin here, maka-cancel dito. Yung Kelvin dito, maka-cancel here. So, matitira natin ay joules plus joules, which is joules. So, yung Q total natin, then becomes, let's multiply together, 2, then parenthesis 7 over 2, times 8.314, times the change negative 24.3833 minus 20, plus 5 over 2, times 8.314, Times the change, which is 100 minus minus 24. And the value is 2,587.5944888 joules. So that is the total heat that is associated with this two-step process problem. So that is uh, the solution for the problem. I hope you learned a lot from today's video. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.